Hey, 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 everybody. This is Enrico, and I am back again on whatever screen you may be watching this on. Hope you guys are doing well. Because apparently we thought that Top Korea was doing well with their low crime rate and protecting people and no guns, no boom, boom, bang, ah, boom, no, none of that. But then we come to find out that we have political figures that are well known being attacked. 격됐습니다. 이에 대해 부산 소방재난본부는 가덕도 내에는 안전센터가 없어 출발할 수 있는 구급대가 없었고 피습 현장에 가장 빠르게 도착할 수 있는 지사센터에서 구급차가 출발했는데 현장과 22km 거리가 있었다고 해명했습니다. 이어 지사센터보다 더 가까운 녹산과 신호안전센터에는 모든 구급차가 현장 출동 중이어서 So this topic came back up on January 2nd. <laughs> And we come to find that we have a popular figure from the opposing Democratic Party. His name is E. J. Myung. He visited Busan. And you know, he is known for just his own ideology of people should be less conservative. People should be able to have their own voice. And South Korea is known for being mostly very conservative. We're talking about like old Ajima with the curly fro hair, older generation saying that, you know, women should be doing this. Men should be doing this. It should stay like this. We should abide by this old rule. Hyung Dong Sang power levels you know someone is above someone else in the workplace you know a woman should stay in their place and we have this growing new generation that is against that and then we also have people that are kind of in between and then also the older generation and the older generation that is cultivating this point of view onto some of the younger people so then we have this political figure who is known for coming from poverty, who is trying to be for people's rights who do not have the minority of the lower class people, because that's where he came from. But then he goes and he's surrounded by reporters. And we think all is well. You know, people are flocking him, they have so many questions. Then here come this man, making Burger King have a bad name. He had this cut out paper crown that looked like them old school Burger King party hats where the kids would go to Burger King. He strolls up. This man, this politician is thinking that he wants an autograph. And then he gonna go full all out assault. We talking about redneck hunter in the snow, in the snow forest, and stabbing him in the neck. Everyone was like, oh, okay, <laughs> because it happened so fast. People were dragging the politician away. They were pulling him, the, the man that was the attacker, away. And the whole time, the bootleg fake Burger King crown hat never fell off his head. So people are like, why did this happen? They find out that, of course, it has to do with corruption and political corruption in South Korea once again. It's like South Korea doesn't get a break from this. And they come to find out that E.J. Myung was involved in bribery. He was involved in real estate building up homes, taking money from off the top, bribing people, filling his pockets. He claimed that this was all a lie and that this is really was a ploy by the conservative party. He was rushed to the hospital. He had emergency surgery. It was really a blessing because the knife didn't hit an artery in his neck. It hit a vein. So he came back. You know, he had a scar. He's now doing press conferences, interviews, and he's alluding that the conservative party had something to do with him being attacked as well as spreading rumors about 
him being involved in corruption. And to be honest with you, I would not put it past anybody at this point. I wouldn't put it past him actually being involved in the bribery. I wouldn't put it past the conservative party doing this to him. I mean, it's pretty low to try to get someone assassinated. But you never know. People out here are cray cray. I mean, they are beyond crazy. And this also was the burning fuel for this attacker to run up and attack him. He had been following him for months, though. He went online, bought a knife, and I'll do a knife. Because, you know, guns are very much controlled. Don't believe what you see in Korean dramas and on movies. No. And he planned this. And then finally he worked up the nerve to just run up and stab him. What was the security doing? In America, it would never. You know that they have squat teams, helicopters, people following the president and these political candidates. I don't know how he was able to just run up and just stab him like that. I also feel like that <laughs> this is not something that is controlled or policed or talked about. Because we have other history as well. And Park Gun <laughs> Full of corruption. I don't know what time and era that she came from. She was attacked during her past campaign. Got sliced in the face. We got American politicians coming to South Korea that are also attacked. ABC's Terry Moran has all the latest. Good morning, Terry. Good morning, George. This was a truly frightening attack, raising real questions about security for American diplomats around the world. An undefended ambassador, the assailant walking right up to him, armed with a 10-inch knife and out for blood. It was a very close call. I'm not sure, and I'm leaving here. I'm leaving here. I need an ambulance fast. Get me to the hospital. This is U.S. Ambassador Mark Lippert, moments after being attacked by a knife-wielding militant Korean nationalist. Ah! And this is the man, named by police as Kim Ki-jong, who shouted South and North Korea should be reunified as he lunged at the ambassador, slashing away with this knife before he was wrestled to the ground. Now, you know, they, they just love knife and kniving people up. And then people just all of a sudden looking and they have this whole gash on his face. I mean, that one white man, he looked like a garden gnome in the face. I'm not going to even lie to you all made him look like Scarface from Gotham. He looked like one of them Gotham Dark Knight villains after that. That man ought to have been ashamed. And of course the person that did that, I read that they said it was diabetes that made him do that. <laughs> I'm like, I read that wrong. I had to have read that wrong. That's that couldn't have been it. Uh uh. No. They say he had mental problems. It, it just once again goes back to this corruption and people taking bribes is not just one side or one party. All of it is corrupt. Like when we have presidents where they're digging up all of the bad things that they've done to step on people's toes, to trample over people, to exhort their power. It's just like, stop. Stop doing what you're doing. You're betraying the people. There are many people that want someone in office that will be their voice, that will support them when they have things they want to say. I'm someone from the outside looking in, so I look at all of this going on, and it, it's really fun to do. Like, at first, I didn't really like it too much. Like, when I was learning Korean, and like, no matter how much Korean you learn, how much of the culture you learn, you're still always going to be an outsider. But to be honest, looking at all of the crazy mess that South Korean youth and people go through in their society, I'm happy I'm not Korean. I'm happy I'm on the outside looking in. Y'all don't have to accept me if you don't want to, or you accept me when you want to be inspired by, you know, Black people's talents and our music and all that, and hiring Black choreographers and producers and all that and buying songs made by black artists for your k-pop groups i don't know you know do you do your thing there's so much talk for all of these new bills and laws and i'm like anti-discrimination law 
I, I would love it. And I want to be clear too. When I say this, I'm talking about for a certain people. I'm not talking about like gay people. I feel like that there should be gay people included in this, of course. But I'm talking about foreigners that are a darker complexion, foreigners from Southeast Asia, foreigners that are over there that are working, that are being treated like dogs in the dirt by their Korean bosses. That's what I'm talking about. And this has yet to come up yet. And it really needs to be passed. Because all of the devoted K-pop fans that are going to South Korea, all of the foreigners that are interested in going to South Korea might run into a situation where they have to go to police station. And if a Korean person is involved and your Korean is not that good, or you don't speak Korean at all, or you don't have a friend that can help you, it's real easy for you to be caught up in a situation of bias where it's going to be the Korean person's word over yours. And if you don't have any proof, I guess they have the, you know, cameras, CG, TV. But even with that, it's so much corruption. It's so easy to edit, delete. And it's important that you have laws to protect you. And so that you are heard as a human being. And it's just not like, oh, you're the foreigner, and it's like you're so much of an alien just outside of our zone of understanding that, you know, it's like we're just going to believe this random Korean person. And meanwhile, the Korean person is really the criminal and has done all this stuff. It's a sad situation. Also, more rights for gay people. I'm going to need a lot of conservative Korean people to mind their own business. And I mean this wholeheartedly. This is one thing about South Korean culture that I don't like. They're in everybody else's business. They're worried about what someone else is doing. Mind your own business. It's like, if you don't like seeing the gay rights parade, don't look at it. You don't have to go in that area. Why are you wasting your day and your children and all of your friends' time protesting a parade that you really don't have to pay attention to? You know, like that you don't even have to acknowledge. It don't have to exist to you at all. <laughs> that that would be the great thing. No. Instead, they choose to try to stop it. There's this constant thing of a war between, like, gay people and conservative people and all this different rapid chain ideology and conservative people saying, no, South Korea is changing and we want it to stay like this. And it's going to constantly be like that butting of heads because there's going to be a rapid change. Why? Because there's more and more people coming from a certain generation. And then, you know, we also have the conservative side that's like talking about this whole thing about the low birth rate and all of that. Dates is expensive. <laughs> Courting somebody in South Korea is expensive. It's a lot. And a lot of people don't have time, nor do they have the money. So it's a lot to think about. It's a lot to think as far as the working class people and how to help those people so that their voices are being heard. Because we have this constant thing where a lot of people feel like that neither political party is really hearing them. And that's why their approval ratings are so low for current presidents all across the board. We can even talk about America. We can talk about different countries as well. It's not working. It's just not working out. And someone needs to get in there that is clean, that means well, that is not out here doing like crazy stuff behind the scenes and thinking that you're tricking people because what is done in the shadows, in the dark, will come to the light when the public decides they want to turn on that light. Please, please get better bodyguards for the politician. I mean, even if I don't agree with some of the stuff that is being said, or even if I do agree, they don't need to stop with letting people just run up and attack politicians like this. I don't wish that on my worst enemy. Keep people away. Like, if they're not 
the media asking questions. Tell them to get away. Get out. Get out my face. Get away. No weird, crazy person should get close enough to slice somebody in the face. No, I, I, I'm not with it. I reject, rebuke. Let's change that. This is a lot to think about, you guys. Follow my social media, mostly my Instagram. Also, my blog, and East Asian Pop Culture. The link is always down in the description box below. And remember, be real. Stay real. Live in the real. And I will always be back. Thank you guys for watching. Put below how you feel about this. Protect yourself. Do not get cut with knives. It's, it's not fun. Believe me.